In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream on YouTube using a real camera. YouTube Simplified. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. And if you'd like to continue to receive notifications on videos that can help you simplify YouTube, consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, so there's a variety of quote unquote real cameras for many people, that's going to mean a DSLR like this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a camera like this and basically set it up like a webcam so you can use it to live stream on YouTube. All right, so first off, we have a couple different options with the quote unquote real cameras. We have our typical DSLR, which is the digital single lens reflex. Plus we have some mirrorless options as well. There's a couple features that you need to be looking for in order to have the compatibility to live stream with these cameras. And we're gonna take a look at that here in just a moment. All right, so when looking at your camera, there's a really important feature that you need in order for it to be compatible with the process and setup that I'm about to share with you. And that is an HDMI out. On this particular camera, this is the 90D. You see we have a little flip out on the side and there is a mini HDMI connection. Now, obviously we're going to need the proper cable to connect to this. Plus we're going to need one more component to make this whole process work. All right, so the component that you need to be able to bridge the gap between your DSLR or mirrorless camera to your desktop is CamLink. That allows you to connect from the HDMI connection in the camera through the cam link and into a USB connection on your computer. There are a couple varieties of this type of product. Cam link is the one that I prefer and the one that I'm currently using. In fact, I'm actually recording this video using my DSLR through cam link. Now the HDMI out on your camera is actually giving a feed of the display on your camera. Now there's two different ways that that feed can be uh, received by the computer or more importantly, two ways in which it can be sent from the camera. There's this concept of clean HDMI out, and I'm gonna show you the difference between clean HDMI and HDMI that is not considered clean. All right, so all the stuff you see on the screen now is basically where that clean comes into play. The HDMI out would allow you to send a signal out of your camera without any of these images uh, being displayed. Now on most cameras or many cameras, you're able to get rid of most of these, but the most typical one that you can't is the autofocus. And let's take a look at what the autofocus looks like even after you've turned this all off on a camera that doesn't have a clean HDMI out. So as you can see on the screen now, what you're looking at is the autofocus. One of the biggest problem with using autofocus on your DSLR or mirrorless and trying to send the signal out to your computer is this right here. Your autofocus uh, is part of that signal, your, your, the information that's being received by the desktop is basically an extension of the display screen on the camera itself. So this is what you end up with. A clean HDMI out gives a signal that doesn't include this information. Now, as you could see, uh, the vi image that I was showing you prior to this didn't have any of the autofocus features on it because that's the one way that we can get around uh, this particular issue if your camera doesn't happen to support clean HDMI. HDMI out. The way we do that is to turn off autofocus. Now, as you can see here, we're using that same HDMI out, but now we don't have the boxes and the tracker on the screen. That's because I've changed it to manual focus. Now, obviously the caveat to switching to manual focus is if you're moving around and back, you can see that I go blurry as I move out of this spot that I focus the lens to. So it's kind of a trade-off. You have to stand kind of stationary to get this particular process to work. But if you're somebody who records sit down or talking head videos, then you can certainly get away with a camera that doesn't support the clean HDMI out by putting it on manual focus. It allows you to be able to send the signal from the camera straight into your computer and then you can do what I'm doing right now, for example, use something like OBS, which is a free software that I can actually record and control the recording of the video on the computer itself so I don't have to keep jumping to the camera to record or not record and all of that. 
It allows you to get all the setup, the sound and everything set up just the way you want it. And then you can interact with the camera as if it was a webcam just by opening an application on your computer. So that part's really helpful. But if you are looking for that clean signal out with autofocus so you can move around uh, depending on the type of content that you're making, you do want to look for a camera that has that clean out uh, to allow you to keep the autofocus on but give a nice clean signal to your system, which you can then share as your live stream on YouTube. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick look at OBS. It happens to be the software that I use as the go-between from my video input to YouTube and show you exactly how this works and how the computer sees the DSLR as if it's a webcam. All right, so this is a look inside OBS. Now, this happens to be OBS.live. You can actually do a search for OBS Live and search or uh, download for this, but they all basically work for the same. There is Streamlabs OBS. There's the original OBS, which is op Open Broadcast Studio, and then there's OBS.live. Whatever your personal preference is, you can use them. They all pretty much have a very similar interface. Here you can see the display that we are feeding into it. We can also see uh, the different scenes that I have set up. And here, uh, this is the screen that we're actually looking at. And here's the video that's ultimately being recorded uh, for output. And when we live stream, what we can do in here is we go into studio mode. We're able to put our intro, for example, up here. And then we're feeding the DSLR into um, the computer as if it's a web camera. So you'll see here it's set up as a video source. And then we're able to put that on screen. And then we use something like OBS to control what the public sees when we go live. But for this video, we're going to stick straight to the concept of simply setting up your DSLR or mirrorless camera as uh a webcam and what you're basically going to need as we mentioned is the camera itself with an hdmi out uh, a lot of the cameras don't have a full size hdmi out uh, so you are going to get the uh, mini hdmi out to a standard hdmi uh, and that'll feed into the cam link and i'll show you a diagram here of basically what that looks like and then from the cam link it comes out and goes into the computer as usb all right so just to go a little bit deeper into setting up the dslr as an actual source here in OBS. We can see when we go to add a new source to one of our scenes, one of them is video capture device. Now, when we go into video capture device and we create new, it's going to show us the available capture devices that are connected to our computer. Now, this will be Logitech C920 webcam, you can see there, uh, Elgato Screen Link, Elgato Capture HD, but the cam link is basically what your DSLR is going to show up as uh, on the system. So once you have it set up, uh, and you have the camera turned on and you have it connected, then it should register as a device. Every once in a while, you'll see a conflict if you open OBS before you have turned on the camera. So I recommend getting the DSLR connected through the cam link, leaving that connected to the system, turning on the camera, and then opening OBS. Then you come in here, you go to your new source, you go to video capture device, and cam link should appear in that dropdown. Cam link is going to be your DSLR that's now set up as a webcam that you can use for live streaming or even recording videos straight into OBS using the start recording option, uh, which is what I'm actually doing for part of this video. So you would basically come in here, you would select your cam link and then you'd hit OK and that would give you uh, what you see here, which is basically that uh, that camera uh, view, which you can put anywhere on the screen, use it however you want, resize it, all those things. But uh, super handy and definitely the biggest thing that you notice and uh, I'm sure you can notice it in this image is the quality. Uh, we can do some pretty good things with the, the Logitech C920, but hooking up a DSLR uh, especially with a nice lens that allows you to do a little bit of a bokeh really helps you to stand out in the foreground and really quite creates just a higher quality, more professional look when you're live streaming. You can head down into the description to find links to everything I talked about in this video, including cam link, the micro 
HDMI to HDMI connector. I might have called it mini earlier. It is micro to HDMI, so that's important. There's a link in the description below for that. Also, if you're looking for a DSLR to use to live stream, among other things, I'll put a link to the Canon T7i, which I recorded this video on, and also the Canon 90D, which I showed you in this video. The Canon 90D does have that clean HDMI out, while the T7i is one that I use by turning off autofocus to get that nice clean signal. Either way, descriptions to everything are down below. Yeah, this video has been sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to trytubebuddy.today and get started for free. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions that I did not cover or you need me to explain in more detail, let me know in the comments below and let me know, are you planning on using a real camera to live stream on YouTube? If this is your first time hearing about Open Broadcast Studio or OBS, definitely click this playlist up here with more videos on how to install OBS, how to get it set up and how to use it for live streaming on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.